Bang, Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And once again, my microphone did not work over the video. I just did three unboxings and it did not work. It said it was working, but it wasn't. So this is uh, a fake first impressions, I guess you could say, but it still is. I'm still sitting here. I haven't gotten up, but bang, the TRM Shadow. I did order this. Thank you so much, TRM, for letting me get this. Um, I appreciate you, you guys, um, you know, making it possible for me to purchase one of these. Now, their packaging, very, very cool. The way you do it is you actually twist, then pull. And I want to say they did add an extra set of Omega Springs. So that is amazing. I love, love, love to see that. Now, um, in the real video, you know, you got to see the first flip and everything. So I'm going to kind of go over everything a little bit. The thumb studs, love these thumb studs. Obviously, this is not the review, guys. The review will be will come soon after I sharpen, test the steel, test its cutting performance. But very good action, very powerful action. I can easily reverse flick it. The access, the, sorry, the river lock is nice and pronounced, okay? So you can really get to them very easily. Like they're not sunk in there or anything. They're very pronounced. So they're very easy to get to. The length from here to here is very nice and it's extremely smooth. Um, I like the little shell pattern on the pivot. I'm not too big on the T6s, but they do have what looks like, like a T12 on the pivot. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. 20 CV blade steel. This is USA made TRM. Uh, love the stone washing on the blade. It looks really, really good. I actually like their logo too. The G10 is such good quality. You can really tell the difference between good quality G10 and cheap quality G10 and also just the milling they do on it and the texture they do on it. Now, this is very thin. Okay. So the stop pin is also a really big size when it's shorter, meaning not really long, it adds to the strength and then the size too. So very, very nice. I'm really happy about this. Extremely smooth. And then look at that clip, titanium clip that's in set reversible inset with flat screws love to see that this choil very nice they do some some of the best factory edges i've seen um very very nice factory edge and then the plunge grind i like seeing that too lots of room to sharpen the plunge grind ends uh, about right there so i got a lot of life out of this thing and yeah very very awesome also, the Ergos, man, they, this is so comfortable in the hand. Um, it, it's not really thick, but it's not really thin either. It's kind of that happy medium where, and this choil, man, just makes it, oh, so comfortable in the hand. Very nice. Back here, I do feel the clip a tiny bit, but not a big deal at all because I'm going to hold it mostly like that. Nice sheep's foot blade. This is going to be so useful. I can't wait to test this knife out. All right, let's get this next one out. This one's going right in the pocket. All right, next one. Now, I'm not going to say people's names who sent these because I didn't ask or anything like that, but this one was done by Knife Modder. So, originally... It's a Kaiser Gemini that was sent to Lindy Lou and Richie to get the bark finish and acid etched and, um, you know, stone washed. It is a left handed knife. So it is a little, little bit awkward for me, but man, that action, it really kicks in. And look at this. You can tell they did it right. They, they definitely, uh, masked off the um the pivot and everything because whoo that is so smooth nice detent very very good good centering the action is so good on this uh makes me want to get one of these now the plunge grind i'm not too big on the way they did their choils on these but they should have just did it like spider co where there was no plunge it all where it's just a straight drop like if you look at say a spider co i got one here somewhere here we go where it just goes from the thickest part 
This is the PM2 and K390, where it goes from the, the thickest part here straight down to the edge. Now with this, it actually has a little bit of a taper, but not that big of a deal. It's better than if they did a very slow taper. Instead, they did, you know, a relatively fast one. Very, very cool, though. Um, I wonder why, man, that is so smooth. I wonder why they didn't do the, the bark finish on the clip. Maybe they couldn't, but at least they made it blend in, right? It looks still really good. Titanium milled clip. Man, this is some deep bark finishing too. You probably can't pick it up as good. Let me put a shadow on it. It's very deep. Like, yeah, it's very, very well done. Love the black hardware. T8s, it looks like. Yeah, this is a solid, man, I keep trying to unlock it right-handed, but yeah, this is a solid, solid knife. So I'm probably not going to do like huge testing on this because I don't want to scratch it in any way, even though I never really scratch knives too much. Um, I think I might have accidentally maybe once or twice, um, but you know this is freshly done and i'm you know i don't i don't want to hurt this knife but we will still check it out a little bit and try to give it as good as a review as we can not only for their mod work because i like to shout them out as much as i can that's knife modders on instagram um lindy lou and richie um they uh they do amazing mod work so i like to show their work on the channel and also you know this is the first time I've checked out a Gemini. So let's get to the next one. Now, this next one is a Reich Knight. Now, I never got to check one of these out before, before just a minute ago when I already filmed this. Wow. This thing is like an art piece. And I said in before that you can really tell that this thing is going to kick. And I can tell that because the height of where my finger goes on this flipper tab, normally you try to at least center it with the center of the pivot. So where your finger is going to land on the flipper tab, if it's centered with the center of the pivot, that's good. Now, the higher it goes, the more leverage you're going to get in that flipper tab. This one is way up here. So you can already tell this thing's going to, whoo, that thing kicks like a horse extremely smooth and then oh man yeah i think kicks then you can reverse flick it and if you look the fuller actually goes longer than the hole so you can get even more leverage under the hole i do feel all this stuff you know like the screws right here and just you know all the holes and everything but it's not bad in the hand, really. I mean, this isn't something you're going to use as your workhorse or anything. It's more of a, I'm not going to call it a gent carry, but kind of an art piece. Man, that thing kicks. Listen to that detent. And then listen to this lock of it. It kind of sounds like glass. Like two pieces of glass kind of clicking. Trying to get it next to the microphone. Very smooth. I mean, extremely smooth. Now, this is probably Damasteel. Now, I don't know. I think this was supposed to be a Tonto, and maybe this part was sharpened out a little bit. We might have to tune that up, but um, I can't tell if it's supposed to be a straight back or maybe a drop point. I can't tell. Does it have some drop to it? Slightly drop? It's basically a straight back to I me. Mean, this is a straight back design, and which usually Tontos are, or like straight backs. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And then right here, it has a dual grind. So right here, it has a separate grind. You can kind of see the way it plays with the light, how it's a flat grind up here. It's both a flat grind on both sides, but it's got a, a separate grind, you know, towards the tip. So now, was this supposed to be just a belly? Or is this supposed to be a secondary edge right here? I'm going to have to look at some factory pictures to really tell. The action's amazing. The bearings feel like they're rolling on glass. It is um, internal stop pins. 
I'm not usually a huge fan of these clips with the ceramic balls. Sometimes they work good, sometimes they don't. Obviously, we will try it out. Um, this isn't something I'm going to do, like no crazy testing on or anything, but we'll definitely see how, uh, you know, it works out by being, you know, being very gentle with it. But yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see how the clip works because, sorry, I was looking at inside there, you can see like the screws where these ones go through the backspacer right there. It's a little unique. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Um, It's definitely very artsy. The You can see the damascus steel. I think it's damascus steel. But this swirl right there, isn't that kind of cool? Looks beautiful. And like I said, we'll see if this is supposed to be rounded right here or if it's supposed to be two edges. I'm guessing it's supposed to be an edge here, like a Tonto. The lock bar has very strong tension, which is what kind of creates, cause like, okay, so with the drop, like it has very strong tension on the lock bar. And that's a good thing. That makes sure it's gonna be locked up very solid and have a nice strong detent. Now on the way down, it's very, very smooth. It almost feels like it's on glass, but it's not a false shut action. Now, I can easily do that where it just falls. But in that case, I'm encouraging it. Now, if I don't encourage it, either way, I don't feel the bearings rolling. They're very, very smooth. So, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. First, this is the first Rike I think I've had on the channel. The first actual Reich knife. So I'm very excited to have this on the channel. And obviously I'll learn some more information. This is not the review. This is just a first impressions. And it's pretty damn cool. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.